public safety employees, retail workers, nurses, travel personnel and media often have to labor on Labor Day. I'm Ashley Stevens, your Paso Robles community reporter, where I spoke with our local fire and police department, as well as retail store owners on how they are dealing with the final day of Labor Day weekend. A downtown park filled with cars and people, but a relatively quiet Labor Day Monday for businesses and first responders. This last year overall, I think for a majority of small businesses, we've kind of been down, um, less traveling, less traveling to downtown Paso. Um, and we're definitely feeling that this weekend. While store owner Lisa Haley says tourism is the main driver of business for downtown Paso, locals have been coming in more frequently because of free parking and Labor Day deals. We always do an end of the year Labor Day kind of blowout summer sale. So we've got a $20 rack, $40, $60 as long as, and a 50% off rack. So I think that helps encourage people to um, shop a little more. Paso Robles firefighters also tell me the number of calls they've received this Labor Day has been low so far, but they remain at the ready for when they do need to respond to an emergency. For the Paso Robles Police Department, one of their main goals on this Labor Day is enforcing the speed limit on Highway 46. We had units out there uh, enforcing speed. Um, quite a bit because we get a, quite a few traffic collisions over there. So, and at high speeds, we get the injuries that come with it. While certain occasions call for more personnel, they haven't needed to upstaff this weekend. We have in the past in different times um, where we'll have an extra DUI unit on or, or another motor on or something to that effect to deal with that. But um, on the most part, like I said, this weekend, we haven't seen an influx of it. Sergeant Rickard told me there are actually two variants of DUIs driving while impaired and driving with a blood alcohol level of 0 0.08. He recommends blowing into a breathalyzer to get a better idea of what the legal limit actually feels like inside your body. And remember, buzz driving is drunk driving. In Paso Robles, Ashley Stevens, KSBY News.